Hello again, uh, I'm going to show you how to copy files from your GPS uh, to uh, Basecamp so you can work with it in Basecamp in this uh, activity. So I'm in Basecamp and you can see that I've created a new list folder called Barrandu the Morning G Block Area Walk, May the 6th, 2019. However, the list is currently empty. What I want to do is capture the files that I saved from the activity this morning on GPS and bring it into Basecamp. So I'm just going to plug in the GPS to my computer via USB cable. And it takes about a minute or so, but uh, sooner or later the internet, sorry, an Explorer window, Windows Explorer will pop up saying that it is connected and what do I want to do? So I'll go to Explorer now and still waiting for it to come through. Uh, here it comes now. Okay. So Garmin is my GPS, not surprisingly, the eTrex Touch 35T. And here are all the files on it. Now the way mine's configured at the moment is that activities are saved, or events, walking events, skiing, running, whatever, are saved into the activity folder. And that each file for each event, or each time you record, has a .fit file name extension. So you can see the date on that is the 6th of May 2019, which is correct. And that... Uh, the time I stopped recording was about 10.30. So there's the file that I want to capture. I'm going to just drag and drop it over into this area. It's now displayed. I can shut down the File Explorer window for the time being. And here's my file displayed in Basecamp. only problem is it starts... In southwest Victoria, the Grampians. I forgot to clear the track manager before I started it up this morning, so it assumes that it just picks up from where it's last left off, and that happened to be the Grampians in southwest Victoria. But I can easily fix that. So just by double clicking on the track, uh, all the data is listed here, and you can see that there's a leg that is. 30 kilometers, another one 416, which is the drive day, obviously. So I'm going to select down to 416 meter, kilometers and then delete it. And now go back to my, which you can't see now, I'll just drag it over. So I'll minimize this to get it out of the way. I can't, okay. So I'll just push it out of the way for a moment. Close it so I can see more of the screen, and now I can zoom in on that just by scrolling the mouse. Now I can see where we walked today. So we started here at Margaret Court Drive at about 8 30 this morning, caught the mine, walked along the boundary of Barrington Regional Park, Parklands area. Uh, actually, we came back that way. We went around this way. By the way, up here is a nifty little navigation tour thing. Provided you've got that toolbar up, you can actually rerun the event. So I'll just run it now. Here we go. Mm. Okay, so clearly I started from there and I deviated off the track there and went around this way across the, towards the gully that I was really interested in exploring which is this one here we went up part of the way, not far then back down, followed the gully down and then back around and along the fence line back home the distance I'll just find that is displayed down the bottom in the status bar here distance 4 kilometers, elapsed time 1 hour 45 137 metres of climbing. Nice easy walk this morning. 
and very enjoyable with two friends from the club. So, what can I do with it now? Well, two things I do. First of all, is uh, export the data. So I select it. I go to the File menu and choose Export. Export Morning G Block Walk. And it's now saved, changed file name format from the FIT file to a GPX and the GPX is readable by all GPS so that's, that's handy. Uh, make sure you know where the hell it's going to be saved to. In my case PC download is not the greatest location but doesn't matter if I know it's there I can find it. And then save. Okay. Now I'm going to close the, the screen matic screencast program so I can 